Okay, I'm gonna ring the freedom bell. And when the freedom bell rings, we want everybody to settle down and we're getting ready to start an absolutely great breakfast program here today, put on by the Deltona Green Keepers, the City of Deltona, and the African American Association. So get ready for a wonderful program this morning. In case you didn't know, this is the day the Lord has made. I don't know about you, but I will rejoice and be glad in it. Or if any of you know my sister-in-law, Lucille O'Neill, some people know her as Jack's mother, but I know her as my sister, Lucille O'Neill. If you're anything like Lou, she'll tell you this. She'll say, this is the day the Lord has made. Don't mess it up. Okay. So now when you see her, you don't have to tell her that I stole her line, okay? That'll be our secret. Good morning and welcome. Welcome to our celebration of Dr. King. This is something that we live and celebrate every day, but this is the particular time of year that we come together and we honor Dr. King, his life, his legacy, all that he stood for. And let me tell you something, as I look around this room and I see the ethnicities and the multicultural groups and everybody is not kind of sitting all in, in, in one section or the other section. Everybody's all mingled together and I think that were he here this morning and he look at this group, he would be pleased. So give yourselves a round of applause. and it gives me great honor to introduce the new sheriff in town, Mr. Michael Chitwood. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's one heck of a way to start a Saturday morning. Thank you very much. What Martin Luther King stood for, in my opinion, was, like anything in life, there are clear times in sailing where everything is clear. You see what's ahead of you, you know where you want to go. But it's when the fog rolls in that we depend on lighthouses to lead us out of the fog. And for those of us, and I'm one of those folks, who weren't around in the 60s, when I'm sure people thought, what's going on in America today? What, what, what is all this social upheaval? Where is our direction? Martin Luther King was one of those lighthouses that led us out of that fog. And while race relations got better, we certainly have a long way to go in the way we, we, we overcome that. Dr. Martin Luther King said, no person has the right to reign on your dreams. Dreams are attainable and within our reach. Dreams are a blueprint, a cornerstone, a guide to accomplishing something great. As parents, as teachers, as community leaders, we are part of the dreams of our children and our students. We at the Volusia County School District get to foster these dreams and help make them a reality. We stand together with our students so their dreams are not stifled, but they are achieved. Dreams can be without limit and they should be. After all, dreams are world changing. Let us remember that dreams are in all of us. The dreams of our children, my children, your children, are what makes our world a better place to live. 
Guys, that's it for me. We tried to get you out of here by 11. I think we moved along as quickly as we could. Again, I want to say thank you to Ms. Von Kaczmiski and her team that does the judging every year. So remember, everybody can do something. You don't have to be the big fish. You don't even have to be the middle-sized fish. But be a fish and do something. Thank you all so much again for a wonderful, wonderful time.